I have got such a story about my thrifted bag that I found not only once, but twice. If you're interested in hearing my story and what I got, stay tuned. Hello, my name is Andrea. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're not new. And thanks for joining me in the babe cave today. Yes, I found this bag twice. So let me start with the story because you're not going to believe it, but I swear it's all true. So let's start from the beginning. <laughs> it's not super long, so hold tight. You're not going to believe this. So I get coupons pretty regularly from a thrift store that I find such great bags and wallets. I found Marc Jacobs, Longchamp, Patricia Nash, Coach. I found everything at this thrift store. And it's not the stuff that's behind the counters that they overcharge ridiculous amounts of money. Because, well, if you haven't watched me for very long, I am a thrifter reseller and I usually make pretty good money on the bags that I choose. So I, this Saturday, it was two weeks ago, we had a 50% off clothes and accessories. Like we have to go, which I try to go at least once to one time to two times a week to find resale items. We were at the thrift store and it was 50% off. I found several bags that were not behind the counter and they were priced anywhere from $10, $11 to $14 or $16 and then you get half off on certain tags. So we found this bag and it didn't have a tag on it. So we brought it up front with the other bags I was purchasing and the cashier, I think, was the manager of the thrift store. I'm not really sure. So he <laughs> looked at it and got his phone out. I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> because that means he's going to look on eBay or, you know, reselling platforms for this bag. So he's like, he looked at it and he goes, oh, this should be behind the counter. I'm like, oh. And he wanted $100 for this bag. <clears throat> and I was like, no, I don't think I'm interested still, you know. So it was going to be 50 but I was like, mm. as a reseller, thrifty lady, sales, discounts, I'm all about it. <laughs> and so I said, just put it back. That was two weeks ago. I couldn't get this bag off my mind. <laughs> you all have been there and done that, right? And I searched on Mercari, I searched on Poshmark, I searched on eBay, and they were all, like, they were scattered. The price ranges were anywhere from 115 to 450 I was like, oh, okay. But the 450 was new with tags. This was definitely not new. Um, so then I'm like, I couldn't get this bag off my mind because... I've thrifted so many and I've felt so many leathers. I've felt the quality and of so many things. You could tell right away if it's pleather or PU leather or leather. And the details on this bag, I was like, I wanted it for myself. <laughs> yes, yeah, sometimes that happens. <laughs> and so uh, I found one on Mercari. And it was... I think it was a hundred or 75 to a hundred. I can't remember. And it had everything. It wasn't new with tags, but they said they only used it once. And the pictures were terrible. Like, I know why they didn't sell it because it's all about presentation on these platforms. You want it stuffed. You want it looking pristine. You want the best angles, but that's another video of how I list items. But anyway, so she threw out an offer, she or he, I don't know. <clears throat> they threw out an offer, 
because it kept lowering it in these last two weeks and I was just holding tight <laughs> and uh, so she offered or he offered I want to say it was $45 and then it was $8 shipping it's gonna be like $53 or something like that and so I decided okay I can't get this bag off my mind I'll accept the offer and I have dogs interrupting surprise surprise so I accepted the offer and that's Nova right there that's my blue Doberman she is a sweetheart so I guess she's gonna be in this video <laughs> anyway <clears throat> so I accepted the offer and maybe like 10 minutes later she canceled my order I was like wait what uh so I got a message saying that she canceled it and that she couldn't find the item I'm like she didn't have that many items like some people are legit thousands of listings she had like 10 or 15 anyway neither here nor there she couldn't find the purse now so she canceled it I'm like oh. total disappointment you all been there, right? And uh, let me know down below if you have. <laughs> so we just went to the thrift store yesterday. I'm filming it the next day. Yes, I chopped my hair off. Tell me what you think of it. I just got tired of it and uh, I got a new do. I will cut my hair frequently, like short, long, short, long. So anyway, back to my story we went to the thrift store again there was no 50% off um, there were certain tags that had sales and we're going through the racks and guess what my husband found the exact bag that was supposed to be behind the counter at a hundred dollars and it came out I'm gonna show you a little snake It came out to eighteen ninety eight. I'm like, he grabs it. Because <laughs> he knows I've been researching, I've been looking for it. I'm obsessed now. And so, without further ado, this bag was meant to be mine. It really was meant to be. Because <laughs> what are the odds that they didn't have it behind the counter asking $100, now it's down to eighteen ninety eight. I'm like yes so let's reveal the bag and then talk about it because I know you're waiting <laughs> here it is this is the bag I could not get off my mind with this lace-up details and yeah a brand that I haven't really been looking for Ralph Lauren and the details it has the feet on the bottom it's a it has a top two top handles it was missing the strap and the tassel you know honestly this is a big bag so it's just going to be a top handle for me anyway and this gorgeous caramel brown color and here is the side detail I still got to clean it but here's the back detail lace laced up all the way to the top and it has a brushed gold hardware I could just tell this was a bag I needed <laughs> has feet on the bottom there are there's no corner wear I mean I was upset at hundred dollars but honestly is it worth it yes it is <laughs> So I learned what the name of this bag is. It is called the Ralph Lauren Ashfield Adeline Medium Satchel. That's a, that's a mouthful, but it's a medium to large bag and I don't typically get big bags, but there was all this detail in the color. I could not get it off my mind. <laughs> you know, the this, there's just no wear on it and uh, the best part is I had a 10% off coupon <laughs> that I used so I ended up getting this bag for $17 
17. You heard that right. <laughs> <I'll sh> <laughs> and uh, I haven't cleaned it up or anything, but I was too excited to show you guys this bag. And uh, let me show you the... <clears throat> These don't... You can hear them squeak. These don't really go down very much. So even if I wanted to wear a strap crossbody with it, these would have to be up. So let's go to the details of the zipper. Here is the zipper on it. I'm of course going to keep the bag. I just wanted to show you the price. Here's the close up of the zipper if it'll focus. And uh, when these were sold, the MS MSRP on these bags was $498. $498 bag that I got for $17. Digest that. Okay, back to, so this is where the straps would go. You see the, the rings up here and over here diagonally, but again I probably would never carry it that way because it's so big it's just cute as a top handle okay on to the interior and it has a little leather piece on the metal here uh, I stuffed it so hang on a second so here is the interior and it has the one zipper that's huge on that side and then it has one two slip pockets the interior is clean however i'm going to do my own cleaning because i usually do on every bag and here is the i wanted to show you the little placard so you could see the interior has Ralph Lauren all on the the lining. It's just so pretty. And I have not been looking at Ralph Lauren at all. <laughs> but not all of Ralph Lauren bags are made equally and not all of them are made and this price. So here is the tag on the inside. And it here's where it says 100%. It's so big. Here's the tag for the inside. 100% cow leather. And on the back, Polo Ralph Lauren, New York, New York. And then I think it shows a uh, United Kingdom and Canada. So I'm guessing that's where these were sold. I'm not really sure. Again, I haven't bought a Ralph Lauren <laughs> until this one. And can you blame me? <laughs> can you blame me? I am going to look online, of course, for probably that replacement tassel. I don't care about the strap. But it just has this very quiet RLL logo. But I could not beat. I just love this lace detail. Let me give you one more look at it so you can see. I just couldn't resist it. What do you guys think? Did I do good or what? <laughs> I, I have been pretty lucky lately with my thrift finds because... At the beginning of the year, people start donating, start cleaning out their closets because they got new Christmas items, new Christmas bags, and they just start donating these <laughs> these long chumps, these <laughs> coach, Dooney, everything. Um, and it's not always caught by the people at the thrift store, not at the one that I go to. So I snatch those up and make, I make a good profit. <laughs> Nova says hi. <laughs> but anyway, hope you like my new my new do. Uh, I really like it. She did a really good job. So anyway, here is my new bag. The teaser is over. I couldn't believe it came back to me. It was meant to be mine, right? <laughs> it really was. 
So I could dress it up with, you know, some chains that I got from Next Fashion. Let's just try one out, shall we? I just did a video on Next Fashion chains. So if you missed it, I'll link it down below. I have several chains to choose from. Well, here's one option to dress it up a little bit if you wanted to, but I really want I want a charm or a tassel that I'll put up pictures of what I found and what it looks like with the tassel. Oh, so pretty. Let me try a different chain. While I'm doing that, sometimes patience pays off in a big way. So try not to get so involved with FOMO, which is fear of missing out, because you never know it's going to come back around in the secondhand market if you're patient and you'll get it for 50 to 60 to 70 percent off if you just are patient oh i like this chain again this is next fashion uh they're based out of canada that's a really pretty chain with this i may leave this on i don't know <laughs> but anyway i've got some cleaning up to do on it and uh if you like this kind of content and my doggos uh, come subscribe to my channel tell me uh, what you think of my my new bag and my new my new hair <laughs> and uh, I appreciate all of you for stopping by and don't forget to hit the bell so you won't miss my videos that I pop up and uh, until next time I have a few things coming up down the the line that you don't want to miss uh, there's a Galentine's event with six or seven of us that have exchanged gifts. You don't want to miss that. It's coming up for Valentine's Day. And I also have a Dooney and Burke comparison of the Essex bag. You don't want to miss that. And a few other uh, videos that I've planned that I'm not going to spoil right now. So anyway, I appreciate you watching and uh, thank you again and hit the, the thumbs up. <laughs> and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.